Hello, and welcome to Zim Explore. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this Explore, we're going to take a look at SVG, uh, bringing that into the canvas. Let's go to some code now, shall we? Ooh, so this is the Zim Fit template, and we have made a function called SVG to bitmap, and we'll put that into Zim 7. Right now we're in 6.9. So this will be available for you in the future, and you can come to zimjs.com slash explore slash svg.html and uh, use this function now if you so desire. Now this function uses a blob, and uh, we've got a zim blob, and when we are using our namespace, well, we're not using our namespace, uh, that means a zim blob will overwrite the JavaScript blob. We didn't even know JavaScript had a blob. But it does. So temporarily up top, and we'll fix this in the Zim in Zim 7, we'll we'll handle this in behind the scene. We're storing the JavaScript blob on the document. So now uh, it's either that or we could have set um, we, we could have set the ZNS to true so that we would have required a namespace and therefore the Zim blob would only be Zim blob or Zim blob and the JavaScript blob would not have been overwritten. But anyway, like I said, you won't have to worry about that. All right, and we've got some uh, SVG over here. Now that's scalar vector graphics. We'll just copy the SVG. We've got two choices. We can store that in a variable and just pass it into this function, or it may be already on a page. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, that would probably be the way to do it. If you did have an SVG here, then we can read in the SVG from the HTML. But if you're going to do that, you probably don't want to see the SVG on the page itself. So you would go and you would say style, end of style, not the end of style, no. And this thing is called the vector, so number sign vector. Uh, we'll have display colon none semicolon. So now we won't see the vector. Uh, just watch out. When we read this in from an HTML tag and put a style inline, turns out it's, uh, it then thinks that this is invisible. And so when it goes to read that SVG with an inline tag, it shows up a, rec a white rectangle. So uh, be careful there. Um, but if you apply a style on it like this, then reading in this tag isn't affected by the style. Up here, we would then say, hey, let's do the SVG to bitmap. And we would pass in a reference to that tag we just made, which is down here, ID of vector. So that's a document.getElementById uh, vector or with sim, it's just a zid vector that stands for document docket element by ID, comma, and a callback function. So here's the function. We'll be given a bitmap from this. So we'll be given a zim bitmap. You see right in here somewhere, it, uh, when the image loads, uh, what we're basically doing, what this is doing, is it's converting the SVG into an image. And then uh, when the image loads, we're putting that image into a, a Zim bitmap, which is extends a CreateJS bitmap. It's basically CreateJS bitmap, but with all of the Zim methods available. So when we get that, we can say bitmap dot center and dot drag, for instance, because it's a Zim bitmap. And we might want to stage dot update there. I'll just copy that, paste. Okay, so this is us getting a reference to the SVG down below and turning it into a bitmap on the canvas and then setting it so we can drag. And let's see that. We open in browser. Oops, it opened over here. Refresh that just to see. And there it is, uh, dragging. Very nice, huh? If you don't want to do it this way, we will cut this. Cut that out, and we won't bother with that. We'll come in here, and what we can do is say bar SVG is equal to, and we can use the new back tick. 
to go multi-line, which is nice, and paste there. So now we've got a multi-line string, like so. And we would just pass in a reference to the SVG. SVG, and save that up. Uh, what do you want to do with it? Um, we could transform it. Transform our bitmap. We'll see how big this is. And we come back here and refresh. Uh, there's how big it is. And now we can transform the bitmap. Or, well, the bitmap, which is from the SVG. Very nice. Isn't that cool? So um, that's uh, pretty neat. That means we can also probably dynamically work with bitmaps. Just run it through that again. If you make any changes, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and this has been uh, a Zim Explorer. I am Dr. Abstract, taking a look at SVG in ZimJS. ZimJS.com. Ciao. Come, please try it out. If you're watching these videos, hey, even if you don't code, come try it out. We have the Zim Zoo. You can just uh, paste a few things in there, try some easy things. Have a great day.